Hi, this is Michael Duvall. I am a physician in the Houston, Texas area that takes care of a number of Department of Labor patients and has for the last year, five years. And um, the one thing that I can say is when it comes to patients' rights and um, being a patient advocate, there aren't many for Department of Labor patients. Usually when they come to me, they're very flustered, they're very uh, emotionally and physically hurt by the process at this point. Um, and I don't see a lot of them right after their injury. I probably see most of them within 15 to 30 days of their injury. Um, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of um, anxiety about the whole process, um, about being hurt, about how it's going to affect their livelihood and uh, having the right tools in front of them can make the journey a lot less tortuous. Um, and also it can help defend you against the harassment that does exist, unfortunately, in this system. So as a physician to a patient, I would say it's very important for the patient to remain their own advocate because you are the only one at the end of the day that cares about your own finances and your family's needs and you getting better. So doing the homework, getting through this originally, yes, it can be a struggle paper-wise as well as uh, a learning process, but I assure you that the process will be a lot easier if you use the Department of Labor handbook, the EL505, and you educate others with it, um, and that you continue to be your own advocate uh, through this difficult time, both in a physical respect to the injury that you had and an emotional one. I hope to see you in the future in my clinic. Uh, if you need any help, uh, I'm always available um, to aid not just uh, in your recovery, but also with uh, figuring out the complex Department of Labor system that we live in.